It's been about seven months and finally we get our fix. The game returned to BET with its seventh season with an explosive one hour premiere. Being the game connoisseur that I am, I'm going to break down season seven, episode one for all of you. I'm Erica Vane and this is the Game Vane Recap. The episode opens with everyone preparing for a special Sabre celebration. There's Jason getting tailored, Tasha getting Botox, Blue and Kara not together, but caught in the elevator of their building together. Malik is moping and slumming with Nina's thirsty ass. <sighs> As you recall, season six ended with a drama filled post movie premiere beatdown and the ending of Malik's football career as he knew it. In the first episode, Malik is making no qualms about his unhappiness with his current situation. Flash to care Michelle Whitaker over at the bar can't decide whether to be pissed or still pine away for Blue, whom she dumped last season. Let's not forget. Show the clip. What's the problem? We just keep getting into each other's way. You should focus on your career and I should focus on mine. So what are you saying? And we're back. <laughs> but that dress amazed uh, balls on you, care girl. Kind of like how the shorter version looks on Tasha. Looks like we have a case of who wore it best on our hands. Who do you guys think wore it best, Kara or Tasha? Tweet me your votes at Erica Vane with either Tasha Mac did that or Kara killed it. Anyway, back to the show. Tasha into the party, fresh out of Botox, looking like someone's crazy drunk auntie. I believe that eye of hers was trending all night. <laughs> 10 minutes in, Tasha is already giving social media their new favorite hashtag series. Tweet that, twerk that, work that. Okay? <laughs> While we're talking about working it, let's take a minute to talk about Brandy. Well, I mean, Chardonnay. And that red dress. Yes! She looked amazing. And that hair, that skin, was everything. <laughs> Here's what some of you guys had to say about Chardonnay in that fabulous red dress. It kind of looks like the dress Rihanna wore last year to the Grammys when she accompanied Chris Brown. Know who wore it best for this though, because both of these ladies are my faves. Tweet that, twerk that, work that. Tasha spent most of the episode convincing us, as well as herself, that she was going through the change. When in actuality, she's just pregnant. And who is this Omari McGee character? I am not here for the steroids thing coming back to bite facing now. Leave it to a hater has been teammate to start snitching at the most monumental time back to Malik, who showed up and showed out, tasked with giving Jason a great introduction, he instead decides to read the audience and the whole Sabre organization. <laughs> Hosea is hilarious as Malik. Care drunk behind stumbles into the bathroom and finds Blue having sex. <laughs> After dropping a little unexpected knowledge, Blue follows up being an absolute jerk. I've never hated Blue until that moment. I was just through. Call Care pathetic. Uh, moving on. Malik thinks the genius thing to do in following up to the Jersey retirement party is to do a drive by on Franco. Thank God Tasha Mack caught him prior to. The episode ending scene was so stressful for me. Really? Fighting a cop blue? <laughs> Kara's all crazy ass got blue arrested. Well actually, blue got blue arrested. But he wouldn't have interacted with the cop if Kara's drunk wasn't stumbling trying to get to her car. Shout out to Bibbs, Brit Brat, and Jason's parents, all making an appearance through the episode. I love them. Overall, I think this season opener was great. In a short time, we were introduced to exactly where each of our favorite characters are in their lives, how things have changed in the past few months, and some foreshadowing into what we'll see this season. I say, all hail Mara Brock Akil, Salim Akil, and the entire team that brings us the game on BET. 
The passion, focus, and edutainment is absolutely amazing. Tune in next week for the Game of Bane recap, and don't forget to watch the new episode of The Game on BET every Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central. I'm Erica Bane. Talk to you soon. Let's shout out some of the great The Game fans. I love tweeting with you guys every Tuesday. At Humble Beauty 29 said, at J.R. Ellis, love the season premiere, and The Game has been my favorite since day one. Me too, girl. Me too. <laughs> at Brandon A. Burns said, Tasha is pregnant, Malik is pissed, Kara's drunk faced, Jason's past exposed, Blue gets arrested, oy vey. My sentiments exactly. I said, Blue, your girl's mad corny and care is way better. In a diva state of mind, responded, then she shouldn't have broken up with him. SMH. True. Very, very true. One of my favorite tweets of the nights came from Jay in response to a fan saying, Where were all these Jay Ellis fans when the game was off air? <laughs> Jay responded, Patiently waiting for a track to explode on. Jay always has the most witty comebacks on Twitter. Well, that's all until next week. Talk to you then.